Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dave here with Gold Gamers, and today we're going to be looking at this PS5 game console that's not reading any games, and when it tries to read any games, it brings up an unrecognized disk error. So let's go over to the upper cam, and I'll show you guys how to be able to get this repaired. All right, guys, so as you can see, I already have the top taken off of this PS5. I wanted to at least get this down right here just to at least show you guys um, a quicker, a really, really quick way to be able to get something like this repaired and fixed. Now, obviously, this may not fix your particular issue um, because a bunch of different things can happen with the disk drives, but I'll try to touch up on as much as possible in this video. And if you guys still have any issues or any questions, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to try to get back to you and help you guys out. So as you guys see, we have a PS5. Now, the only thing I've done is obviously popped off the cover. If you guys look up a, watch a couple, maybe a minute of a disassembly video, um, you can be able to see that all I did was literally just take off this cover, take off the fan, and that's pretty much it. And we're right here. It's that quick to be able to get down to the Blu-ray drive. You don't have to take a bunch of things apart on the motherboard like on like the PS4 Slim, just to make it down to the motherboard. Now I wanna show you guys the exact issue that we're having with this PlayStation 5 game console with it not reading or just registering the disc as uh, recognizable. Now I'm gonna throw in a, a random disc. It really doesn't matter what type of disc I throw in because I already know what the issue is. And I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. It comes right here, it catches. It did. It then usually it can usually pull it all the way in. This time it's not wanting to pull it all the way in. But these is, and when it does pull it all the way in, it'll bring up unrecognizable disk. So this thing is um, actually technically speaking, having two issues right now where it's not wanting to take the disk in all the way. And when the disk fully gets in there, it doesn't want to read. So we'll be going over both of those issues, dealing with the rollers and dealing with the laser at the same time. So, I can, so I'm going to just kill two birds with one stone in this video, show you guys how to be able to properly repair these rollers, and then show you guys how to be able to get this um, game console to be able to read your game. So let's go back over here to this upper cam. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to shut this thing off because I obviously don't have a fan attached to this and don't want any overheating issues to have another issue on our hands. So I'm just going to... Um, take off these screws to be able to get the chassis off of this Blu-ray drive. All right, once you get inside of the chassis, you'll be met with the actual Blu-ray drive itself. You'll be met with the, also the placement board, the PCB board, which is right here, which houses your Blu-ray keys and everything that's married to the motherboard. Um, right here, if you guys, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a arrow right here. And this arrow right here, which just shows you where your two black screws go on. So just make sure you guys put this back together. Make sure you put your black screws exactly where the arrows are, are located. So now what we're going to do is just lift this out of the bottom section of that chassis. And we just have a couple screws up here. So we have two screws. We have two screws right here, two screws down here. And with me not even having this thing completely apart, I can already see... A issue that I had no clue <laughs> was even an issue. If you guys look deep right here, you can see something that looks very familiar. Um, and it kind of just rolled out of the way. It's, it went into hiding it, as soon as I tried to expose it. Well, it looks like a Nintendo Switch cart <laughs> has got stuck in this um, PlayStation 5 game console. So that is definitely... A issue one of the issues on why it wouldn't want to work so we're gonna take this off we're just gonna set that aside like that now as you can see we have Lego worlds um, a copy of Lego worlds for the Nintendo switch more than likely their kids stuck it inside of there so that deals with the issue with um, it not being able to fully take in these games. So I'm going to go over a couple different issues with you guys, and then we're going to clean up this drive, clean up the laser, and put it back together. So I'm going to go over a couple tips for you guys. All right, so the main thing that we're going to be focusing on here is the rollers. 
you want to make sure these rollers are in place and intact. Um, a lot of times these rollers will fall out, uh, just like how that motor did, which I got to pick that up. All right, just to show you guys what we have right here. So we have the two rollers. There's two rollers. This roller that sits over here takes this little gear that slides directly in here. Um, make sure you guys' this drive look exactly like how mine's look. Make sure it's fully over there. Hopefully this focuses in. There you go. Make sure that's in that little slot right there. If that pops out, that will cause you issues. Make sure it can make sure when you push this, it can fully swivel up and down. Make sure there's no blockage in there. Make sure there's nothing stuck or jammed in there. Um, this needs to be on this track, and this side over here needs to be on this track as well. All right, so I hope you guys can see that. So it's supposed to be in there, and it blurred out on me again. Now, also another good way to be able to test to make sure the drive um, fully does move, you can um, make sure that this gear um, can freely move, which it should. All right, there we go. So she, I push the gear in, and this will signify that there will actually be a disc in here. Now I'm gonna pop this gear all the way out. Make sure this is completely all the way out right here. If this is not all the way out right here, that will also that will also cause you issues on your Blu-ray drive being able to accept um, any games. So another thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our Clorox wipe right here and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I want to do I'm going to ring out this Clorox wipe a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Clorox wipe I'm going to go in here I'm going to cl thoroughly clean both rollers you want to make sure if these rollers get dirty, dusty, and they just start building up a bunch of crap in it, it'll make it harder for it to be able to accept in games. We're going to clean around here. Now we're going to focus on this laser. Now, the thing is, this may or may not repair your issue if it's having any disunrecognizable issues. I'm 100% sure it's going to repair this issue because you guys already know we took out this Nintendo Switch game. So more than likely when the disc was actually sliding in here, it was getting caught on this Nintendo Switch game and not allowing the disc to be able to spin freely. But it's worth a try. You know, if, if you can be able to break this down, just make sure you don't break anything uh, when you're in here. But if you can break this down um, and get it to at least down to this laser, um, this is what we're going to do. Well, first off, I'm just going to clean this dust around here. Um, and I'm just going to clean this laser. Now, once again, this may or may not fix if it is having a disc um, readable issue because you, I, I will have to say more than likely, I usually see where people have to replace the lasers. And if you guys still are having issues after doing this um, simple fix, just let me know, and then next time I get in a PS5 that's having any disunreadable issues, I'll show you guys how to be able to replace the laser. It's just there's no point in doing it in this one because the laser should be perfectly fine because it was just a switch. And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a Q-tip. It's, it's a dry Q-tip. It's not wet because I already wet up the laser with the Clorox wipe. And I just went in. I just... Don't put a lot of pressure on it. I'm going around now and I'm maneuvering around the laser real nice. I'm not actually touching the laser with this cloth because I don't want any fuzz or anything to get off on this cloth onto that laser. So now what I'm going to do now is take the roller. I'm going to take out that gear as you guys can see. Now I'm just going to just hold it in here and just dry it off. Because if this thing is wet, when it's trying to take in a disc, it's going to leave streaks on your disc. A lot of times, and these things are really, really good at holding any type of moisture. So you want to make sure you thoroughly um, dry this. 
And sometimes you, you might just not dry it all the way. And if it does put uh, wet streaks on your disc, it's not a problem. Just take a shirt or anything like that and just dry it off. Um, so now what we're going to do is just simply do everything in reverse. We're going to now put this thing back together and see if it can be able to work. So remember, when you guys do this, make sure you put that gear back in that roller right there. Make sure this fully is seated right here. As you guys can see, there's a little notch. Um, I just set that in there. And then these two, I kind of think of it like a handshake. Um, you know, these two connect like a handshake. It's a lot different than the PS4 models because those actually connect uh, with an actual another piece. Don't push them in. Before, don't push them in until you got them both in. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to push the left one in. You guys see I'm putting pressure on the left one. And I'm also holding the right one so it won't pop out. Um, so I'm trying to get it in there. All right, now as you guys can see, now it's in there, it's able to spin freely. And let's make sure when I pull this lever, it'll spin the rollers. All right, so rollers turn 100% fine. All right, guys, so we have it partially put back together. I have a copy of NBA 2K22 for the um, PS5. And now what we're gonna do is first off supply this thing with some power so i can be able to get this disc in here and now we're going to power it on and we're going to put this disc in remember this disc has to go in upside down so you guys if see it fully took it to this now i hear it spinning i see the laser motor mount moving and now and as you can hear, it's spinning up, going really fast, which signifies that it is reading. Now, I'm going to turn our attention over to this TV. I'm going to plug in my PS4 remote because I don't have my PS5 remote in here. If you guys don't know, PS4 remotes will work for your PS5. But unfortunately, they only work with PS4 games on the PS4 or 5. Uh, as you guys can see... NBA 2K22 is right here. And now I'm going to eject the disc. As you can see, um, this went from the silver to the white, which signifies that the disc is now no longer in there. And I got to put this case in the chassis because... Um, also, that you guys, I just want to make sure you guys know, too, when you have your Blu-ray drive like this, where it's not in the chassis, Make sure when you got when it takes it to this, kind of just pop it up and hold it at an angle like this. Um, I'm gonna try to move the camera so you guys can see, kind of like this. But don't make sure you avoid this gear right here. Kind of hold it, and the same thing when you push it out, when you eject it, you want to hold it like this so it can make sure it can properly flow that disc outside of this Blu-ray drive. Because if you don't hold it like that then what happens is those gears that sit underneath it is touching the top top chassis of the motherboard and it's going to clip up and it might not take in or eject very well. So that is uh, PS5 that was just successfully repaired. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this video did help you guys out. And if you are having any continued issues, just let me know down in the comments below. Or if you want to bring in your game console to us for repair you can bring it into any of our store locations i work on all the repairs you can also ship it into us and i will be able to get your game console and repair it as well if you need help with getting your repair organized but um hopefully if this video did help you out please go ahead and sm smack that like button i put a lot of time and energy into making sure i could get this content out to help you guys be able to repair your own game consoles at home and if you guys want to see more repairs like this make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, I constantly upload a lot of repair videos just like this one here. All right. Besides that, guys, I hope to see you guys on the flip side and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. See ya.